here from Psychologies Magazine. Good morning. How are you this morning? It is the Monday Morning Motivator with Psychologies Magazine. I'm Susie Walker and I am the editor-in-chief of this wonderful, fantastic magazine, which will inspire you and fill you full of energy with lots of ideas about how to transform your life uh lovely to see you all i'm just welcoming you hello hello welcome to our psychologies monday morning motivator lovely to see you all today today we're going to be talking about what makes us happy and why and also to get really practical we're in the middle of lockdown um you know second lockdown of this year been a tough and difficult year. Psychologies Magazine is very much about consciously creating your day, consciously creating your week, consciously creating your life, which means about putting the attention on what we do want to create versus being hijacked. One of our lovely ambassadors at Psychologies used that phrase the other day, and I thought that was a great phrase, how we're hijacked often by our phones, by uh, negative thoughts, by the news, and all of a sudden we go from what do I want to focus on to the world is telling you what to focus on. And, and you, never before in history, I think, are we more challenged about how, where we put our attention. And at Psychologies Magazine, we are constantly giving a million ways to how do we put our attention on what we want to put our attention on um, and very much uh, channeling your focus onto that so this week in our monday morning motivator book thank you uh, by hoffman institute who are sponsoring this um video what we're going to be doing um this week is asking the question what makes you happy and why and how can you plan those things into your week um, this week. So coaching, we're huge fans of coaching and therapy at Psychologies Magazine. And it's about working on your life rather than being in it constantly. So, you know, sometimes like, you're just completely reacting. So, you know, you might go to your desk this morning, your work desk, and then just be bombarded by 10,000 emails. So, and, and all of a sudden you're reacting, reacting, or, you know, you may have a family life or friends or, or asking for your attention. But what is the most the thing that's most important to you and we've been working a lot on self-care in this lockdown we have uh, created a beat anxiety guide which is free and the details are below so do uh, download our free beat anxiety guide but a major part of that is self-care and the first piece of self-care is knowing and noticing what makes your heart leap as i always say we have the life leap club which is the subscriber club of psychologies and we have we talk in language of what makes your heart leap and what makes your heart sink. So today I want you to think about, okay, what are the things, small, simple things that will make you feel happy today? So it could be as simple as fresh sheets on the bed. It could be uh, a lovely, beautiful walk with amazing autumn trees, taking the dog out. It could be uh, calling up your best friend and, um, uh, you know, having a chat about, about things. What are the things that make you happy? Once, so what a great exercise to do is just kind of sit for five minutes and go, okay, what makes me happy? And just write things down. Think, sometimes if you do that, your mind goes immediately goes blank. You think, oh, I don't know what makes me happy. But as soon as you ask a question, you're kind of, of sparking neural pathways in your brain, ding, 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 that go, oh, yeah, that makes happy. And then your, your focus is immediately what makes me happy, asking powerful questions, which I know we talked about, um, I think it was last week or the week before, can help you create new focus in your life. So what makes you happy and why? So, so good things to do is think about your five senses, the, what, the smells that make you happy, um, so it could be creating, you know, having a cup of tea with a special cinnamon smell. I love yogi tea. Um, and it's, it was like, it's got a little uh, piece on the on the, the tea bag, which has a kind of a motto. I love that. Um, I love, you know, so having a lovely, smelly, licorice cup of tea will do it for me. The smell of that it makes me feel warm and good inside. What makes what smells make you feel good? 
Um, what are the sights that make you feel good? So I'm all about color. I try to dress colorfully. I love going out and seeing the kind of the beautiful autumn leaves. What about listening? What's the music? Your music has, there's so much research about music. What's the music that's incredibly uplifting? Um, that you know you can put a song on and it just sparks music that you can start dancing many of us are working from home at the moment so why not put music on that just makes you feel alive or soothing music that makes you feel calm um, but you know listening is as you oh I mean all the amazing podcasts we've got a great new podcast editor uh, Rachel Dobson who's doing some great reviews of a brilliant I mean I can listen to a podcast on my dog walk and I feel completely transported and excited um, we've been listening to Chris Evans on Virgin Radio in the morning. Oh my God, it's just like it's like an injection of of uh, energy, and you know, we, you know, where do you get your inspiration from? You know, where can you find that from? So you know, think about all the great things that make you feel good. But simple, small things. It don't have to be big. You know, it's often we think, oh, there's so much in my life that I want to change, and so you think, oh, I can't. I'm too overwhelmed, so I can't do it. So just plan in this week three simple things that will make you feel happy and excited and motivated, loved, comforted, whatever you need. I mean, so for me, often I've got a really soft blanket and, you know, and just sort of wrapping it around myself on the bed sometimes and, you know, sneaking away, don't tell anyone, for a quick 10-minute nap in the afternoon can do me a thing in my soft blanket what works for you what will make you feel um relaxed and inspired and full of energy um obviously we have lots of ideas in psychologies magazine quick uh, plug we're also in our free downloadable lockdown guide that we're giving away to as many people as we can you know spread the love and there's loads and loads of self-care ideas in there. It's a big anxiety lockdown guide that we're giving away. And I hope that you can get lots of ideas from there. We've, got, we've interviewed all of our experts and columnists from the magazine about ideas about how we can support ourselves through this strange year that we've been having. But there, there are so much we can't control in the world. We know that. But there's small things we can control. So what we're encouraging you know, our readers and our audience to do is just to put our focus on what we can control and the things that can make us feel happy and inspired and loved and nurtured. Let's do that. Okay, everyone, have an amazing week. Lots of love, and I will speak to you really soon next week. Bye-bye.